All right, let's learn how to use iMovie. To find iMovie, we're going to pull down in the middle of the screen and then search for iMovie. We're going to click Create Project and choose Movie. And it's going to open up all of our media that is on our iPad, our videos and our photos. Let's choose a few. And then click Create. And now we have a timeline of all the different medias that we put into our program, whether it be videos or pictures. With pictures, we're going to have to adjust the Ken Burns element. This will allow us to choose the starting point and the ending point for how the pictures scroll throughout the video. Now let's add a title to our first picture. We're going to click on our picture and click title at the bottom. Choose the type of title that we want and if we want it centered or lower. Then we click where it says title text here and type what we want our title to be. And now we can replay it so that we can see how it's going to look. Next, let's look at some transitions. You're going to click the small box between pieces of media and choose from one of the options down below. Look at each one and figure out which one suits your movie the best. Now let's see what to do if we need to rearrange one of the pieces of media in our movie. You're going to click and hold on whatever piece of media you want to move and then drag it to the position that you want it to be in. Now let's add some audio. Click the plus sign at the top of the screen and choose audio. Then we're going to choose theme music and click through the different ones and see which one works the best. When you find one, click use and it will add the music to your movie. Normally at the end of a movie, you want the audio to fade out to give it a professional sound. To do this, highlight the audio track, click the fade button at the bottom and drag the slider back to about halfway through your last piece of media. This will allow the audio to slowly fade out as the movie is ending. After your movie is complete, you're going to save it. So you're going to click the done button and then you're going to give your movie a name and you have several options for sharing it. You can save the video, and I normally choose HD 720p. After saving the video, I will normally take and add it to my drive or drop it onto YouTube.